I remember the day it happened when Asbury cut the boys lacrosse team because we were out practicing and we were like something's happening, something's going on. When I got news of it, I, I was very terrified. I was like, are they coming after us next? What's going to happen to me? I'm a junior. It happened my junior year. I was thinking like, I don't know if I can stay here without lacrosse because the whole reason I came to Asbury was because of lacrosse. But when I got the news that like they were keeping us, it was like we had to prove them like why we were, they were keeping us. So we had to show them like we can win games, we can do this, like let us show you this. So Ash is our steady. Um, she, I think even as a freshman, um, Ash was always the player who would put a point on the board. We, if we needed a point, if we needed a point, Ash would take it to Cage. Sometimes bulldoze our way through, um, but she'd put a point on the board. She's so consistent, so that's hugely helpful. We have not, in program history, gone to conference, and so that, I really want to do that before I leave. And we've been close a couple times to making it, either by one lost game or three goals. It was a blessing in disguise, COVID canceled us. We were just not like playing like the team we could be playing. COVID canceling my senior year, I didn't see coming. Um, I, it, it hurt, it, it, it didn't feel right, real at first. It, it was shocking, but then it, it hurt. I am four goals shy of scoring 100 goals before I stop playing. It hurts because I haven't achieved my goal and maybe it is time to hang up my cleats. Mr. Whitworth has offered me a graduate assistantship, which allows me to play one more year. This is really exciting because now I have the opportunity to achieve my goal. It's just gonna be like a really cool accomplishment just to hit that and say like, oh, in my time, I got 100 goals, like, did you? If I don't achieve it, then obviously it's not meant to be. <laughs> With two years not happening, I think it's like God saying like, it's not your time yet. Like. You, Maybe it's your time to help someone else to achieve that goal. So I think I'll be okay. Like it's it's not the end of the world, but it's definitely, it's going to take a day or two to get over. When I scored the first goal at 99, I was like, oh, I can do this, let's go. We were going back and forth as well as going back and forth as a tie game and then they were up by one. The end goal of coming back was just to play, just to have fun. I mean, it's just like kind of like freedom. Like, I feel like any athlete can tell you, like when they step on the field, it's nothing should be in your head but just playing. So I really, really just wanted to like soak in the moment. But at the same time, I was like, crap, we're a tied game. We still got 10 minutes to go in the first half. And it was go time. We had to go back and score a couple more goals. It's redemption year for us because, like I said, COVID canceled us. Um, we, we weren't able to finish all our games, and so we're coming back with this mindset like, any day could be your last game. Because I hit 100 doesn't mean I'm done. Um, it just means like I have to do the next thing. People expect more out of me. She already is coaching, and I love that. Um, I know for me as a coach, I've said that's the biggest compliment. If my girls go on and coach, that means that their experience here has made them still love the sport and want to teach the next generation, and I think that that's a powerful tool. Um, I know in the lacrosse world we need more lacrosse coaches, so I hope that she keeps coaching, and I hope that that's still a piece of her because we need more like her who know what they're doing and who can just invest in the next generation. The whole reason I came to Asbury was because of lacrosse. I'm really glad I, was, I chose this um, college. Looking back at it, 
and looking at all my other options, I don't know if I could have seen myself go anywhere else. So I'm, I'm so glad I, I stuck it out. I'm so glad I was able to get the comeback.